What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another How to Play. Today, we're going to be talking about Jeffrey Kahn from Rochester CCG's 7th place finishing Order 4th Kind deck. Let's get into it. So what this video is going to do is we're going to talk about 4th Kind, and we're going to give a snapshot of the 4th Kind list, of Jeff's list, followed by the strategies and tactics uh, used in order to play 4th Kind. And then lastly, we're going to do a small deck recap, and we'll take a, a look at their sideboard so fourth kind five hand size 34 health character this one was played off of the order symbol it says the fourth card you try to play this turn um uh gets minus four difficulty and if it's an attack it gets minus uh, plus four excuse me plus four damage they get it's easy to play it gets really big and then once per game um if my rival has uh built a, a, a healthy board i get to commit four of those or force them to commit four of those and then lastly we got a really cool on block ability of after i block with any attack i can add it right back up to my hand once per turn which feels very very cool so the deck strategy for fourth kind is is simple right we got four things you cheat high difficulty attacks you punish reckless builds you're a five hander and we utilize our five hand size defense we utilize that big health total in order to uh, force my opponent to try and overextend so the, uh, the the high difficulty attacks that we love playing super late in the chains are things like indiscriminate shock um, and full cowling strike and um, uh, grasping tape toss. These moves being essentially one difficulty with a, a plus four damage feel absolutely fantastic tacked on at the at the end of a string, um, especially that grasping tape toss. I love putting four damage on on grasping tape toss just because you know it has the throw keyword or or full cowling strike letting you discard your hand and then redraw back up. Indiscriminate shock um, after I've committed your whole board it gets plus four damage from my character it's gonna get plus another nine damage because you have so many foundations incredible followed by um a reckless building right if you build uh, foolishly versus fourth kind he gets to punish you really really hard with things like league invitation and electric jolt um being able to to commit down specific pieces combine that with the ones per game from fourth kind you can take a big healthy board turn them all sideways and then and then really uh uh close the game out very quickly uh, and one of the main ways to punish fourth kind uh, in total was on your turn one you built five foundations on your turn two you built to 11 foundations and then you defended yourself well if you go to 11 foundations against fourth kind now he's just going to draw a vile seizing and give all of his moves essentially plus two speed um, which is really really strong um uh fourth kind already does a really good job of killing you through all but base stats uh, anyways, getting the minus two to the check for the rest of the turn really, really hurts um, uh, fighting against him. And then um, one of the ways that this deck uh, stays very viable is because of the fact that it is a five-hander. Now, that's in quotes because the order symbol has a ton of draw power. Things like calling for backup and passing the torch, being able to add bonus cards up to your hand or high engine kick, being able to cycle or filter your hand of discard this card I don't need right now to get plus two speed, redraw a fresh one. Feels very good specifically if it's played at the end of the string right this could be a like a six high for eight sometimes an eight high for eight depending on what you need for the situation so this just feels really really strong and then lastly um one of the big things that that this deck uh, gets to do is it's got 34 health that's that's the third most health in the entire game so cards like challenging the fakes and fulfill my duty get to utilize not blocking not not being forced to have every card in your hand be a uh, be defensive we're going to utilize our board and our health total in order to stop our opponent by either fulfilling my duty and stopping their enhanced step or challenging the fakes and saying that they essentially have breaker two um, whenever i so feel like it and so there you go there there we have a uh, there we have the list um the big thing i want to talk about is um just the sideboard because we've seen uh, jeff's list before um having the bonus ice slide tackle which is a really cool on block ability so if you block a high attack with it you get to respond take no damage then respond forth kind of pick it back up in case there's another high attack um citywide crisis in case there's any drawing or, or or speed resets um grasping tape tosses more deadlock threats uh fulfill my duty utilizing that health again double runaway double blood curdle these powerful order actions coming in and then just two it can't escape me in order to stop down combo decks uh really really awesome uh love love the deck uh, obviously jeff has done uh, really well in the past with this deck and so you know it's all just honing and, and making it the best it can be with that said, again, congratulations to Jeffrey Kahn from Rochester CCG for your 7th place finish at the Pasadena RLE. If you like this video and you want to check out more uh, like it, make sure that you check out the channel. There's a, a playlist that you can find out there. With that said, thank you much for watching, and as always, I wish you well.